We're now ready to talk about um, reactions of amines, and we're going to begin with preparation of amines to make sure that um, you go back and review some of the ways that um, you learn how to synthesize uh, amines. So I'm just going to briefly write out <clears throat> the ones that you need to look up if you don't recall it. Um, so the um, if you react an alkyl halide with uh, sodium cyanide, um, you're going to do an SN2 uh, type of reaction to put the cyanide onto the R group and then you could reduce it with LH and that will give you the primary amine, right? And um, <clears throat> secondly, you could take uh, carboxylic acid Convert it to um, acid chloride and then react with the amine. And then you do the reduction with a strong reducing agent, then you also get an amine. These were two major ways that uh, you learn how to make amines. Um, notice they're primary amines. Um, and the third method that um, should be reviewed from 114 is uh, if you have a nitro group on a benzene ring, <clears throat> you could do a reduction with tin chloride um, to give you the aniline. So um, this is a reduction of the nitro group and that's um, reviewed from your chemistry of aromatic compounds um, in case you need aniline in your synthesis. So these are the uh, three methods that um, you should be familiar with. And you should, um, at this point, be able to do 23.10 and 23.11. All right. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to end this um, rest of the uh, lecture with uh, um, reactions of amines. And um, so this page and, and next, I want to finish um, talking about um, reactions of amines. And then um, after that, uh, we'll have a, um, our last lecture on the synthesis. All right. So <clears throat> if you want to uh, put an R group on the nitrogen, um, so you start with a, a primary amine and you want to put <clears throat> different alkyl groups on them. Your initial um, thought might be to take an amine and react with an alkyl halide to do an SN2 type of reaction. So this is all good, um, but there's a problem with this method in that uh, when you do the alkylation uh, reaction, uh, you get mixture of products. So the reason for that is when you alkylate, like it's in this example, um, this also has a lone pair, it, and that's going to be competing with the lone pair on the uh, primary amine. And remember that as we put more R groups on the um, the nitrogen um, lone pair, the amine gets more basic or um, it's got more electron density, so it's prone to uh, alkylate again. So that's where the um, mixture comes from. The fact that not do you only get the um, secondary amine, but you're going to get tertiary amine, and then this will alkylate again. and produce uh, a quaternary um, ammonium salt. So you get a mixture of all these products, especially if you use one equivalent of the alkyl halide. So um, this is not a, a method that is recommended um, if you're trying to alkylate amines. Um, but if, you, if your goal was to produce um, the quaternary ammonium salt, then one way to do that is take the amine and then use excess of the alkyl halide so that all of these doesn't stop here but keep alkylating, alkylating until it goes all the way to the ammonium salt. So 
this method will be okay if your goal was to make the ammonium salt, but if it isn't, if you want to stop at um, secondary or tertiary amines, this is not a good method. So in order to um, kind of go around this problem, a um, couple methods have been um, um, invented, and one is called Gabriel synthesis, and so this is this and the azo synthesis um, often uh, the way um, people go about um, doing this um, actually there's uh, this this and another one reductive emanation there's three methods to um, going around this problem so in Gabriel synthesis uh, what you're doing is um, you're starting out with um, this um, starting material um, called pythalamid and you're reacting with a strong base and what that's going to do is um, take this proton which is the most acidic proton um, because it's uh, in between the two carbonyl so the base is going to grab the proton and then um, the electron share between the nitrogen and hydrogen is given to the nitrogen. So the nitrogen now has two pairs of lone pair uh, with the uh, potassium salt as the um, counter cation. The reason for depronation is to make this nitrogen um, nucleophilic as possible. So this is where the um, alkylation, so it's an SN2 reaction occurs. Um, to alkylate the nitrogen. So you're putting on uh, whatever R group that you're alkylating with is in here. Now the next step is basically this nitrogen is your, is your nitrogen for the amine. And um, the next step is sort of like, you could think of it as a deprotection step in which you are going to um, release the uh, amine um, group uh, reacting with hydrazine. So um, what, what happens is, think of this big uh, pathalamate unit as a source of a nitrogen, and this whole thing is just protecting group. And uh, this, the reason why this doesn't over alkylate like it did over here is because this is an, an amide, actually it's called imide because it's uh, double bonded O on both sides, but it's, it's functional group is sort of like an amide in which the uh, lone pair on the nitrogen is, is, is not available, but it's um, resonance stabilized, right? So this is, this is pretty happy after it alkylates. And then this is the deprotecting step in releasing the pathalamate. So then you have the um, alkylated amine um, that is released and the hydrazine is over here. Um, I'm not going to go over the mechanism of this deprotection step, but basically um, you could probably guess what happens is it opens up the acido vano, comes back down, uh, re, uh, opens up the acido vano, it becomes O minus, O minus comes down, and it's a ACL substitution reaction, so it releases the nitrogen with the R group. And the other nitrogen does the same thing on the other Cdovano. That's why you get this as the byproduct, giving you the just monoalkylated um, amine. You could do the same thing with the um, azides. Um, <clears throat> so here, this is a, a strictly an SN2 type of reaction where you're going to uh, react with an alkyl halide uh, with a, a sodium azide and um, so sodium azide looks like this <clears throat> and it's nucleophilic so this goes in and displaces the, um, the leaving group Uh, forming this and all you need to do um, after you displace the halide and put the nitrogen group 
uh, <clears throat> one of the nitrogens is going to serve as the mean, and then the other two nitrogens um, leaves as a nitrogen gas. So you reduce it with a, a lithium aluminum hydride. And um, you um, release the, um, the nitrogen gas to give you the um, alkylated amine. All right. Um, your book has um, mechanism of this uh, reaction, page 1103, I'm not going to go over it, but take a look um, if you're curious. And the last reaction is um, called reductive amination reaction, and probably this is the most um, useful uh, reaction. Um, <clears throat> in terms of making amines. Um, so as the name says, reductive amination. So we're going to start with um, aldehydes or ketones um, with a primary amine because that's going to give you the um, imine. And then in the same step, um, you are going to then um, reduce it. And then the reduction of the imine gives you the amine, all right? So um, basically, um, stepwise speaking, um, you could treat it with um, the amine. So for example, if you um, react it with ammonia with an aldehyde or ketone, the imine looks like this. All right, <clears throat> so that's the um, intermediate in the first reaction is um, you do the uh, formation of imine, and this should be a review for you from um, ketone and aldehyde chemistry. And then the second step is the reduction. And the reduction is the um, lithium cyanoborohydride, or um, you could hydrog hydrogenate with um, nickel. Um, your book mainly uses uh, lithium cyanoborohydride, um, so you are going to do the reduction, and so basically you're putting hydrogen here and hydrogen here, um, so you are getting the uh, amine. Um, so for example, um, <clears throat> this is how, um, if you were able to get the starting material, um, if you were able to get the starting material, which is restricted, um, if you react with um, methylamine and then um, do a reduction with uh, lithium cyanoborohydride, then what you're getting uh, is initially an imine. And then you're going to do the reduction. And this, actually, if you go back and look at some of the uh, amines, um, biologically interesting amines, this is the structure of methamphetamine. Um, and if you react it with, instead of uh, methylamine, you, you react it with just ammonia, and you don't have the um, methyl group here, then that would be just amphetamine. All right, so it's a very easy reaction, but um, <clears throat> the way it's restricted is that you can't get the starting materials. Um, um, they're not available to prevent um, just any uh, people making it in in uh, in underground labs, all right? So we're gonna skip um, the other reactions that are in chapter 23, which is 23.9, um, 23.10, and 23.11. Um, you should be able to do these uh, drill problems that I gave you, and 23.12, uh, 14, 15, and 18.